All right, so um, what's for breakfast? So I usually start my daily routine with a slice of toast. Okay, four slices of toast. <laughs> All right, everybody, welcome back. And um, today I, I've got what I think should be a, a fun little video for you. And actually one that quite a lot of people have um, have requested. So I hope you enjoy it. So if you've been watching the channel for, I don't know, longer than just a few weeks, you'll know all about my uh, my fiance, Lindsay, AKA Mrs. Beard. Say hello, darling. Hi. In fact, um, some people just watch the channel now to see you. I'm like a supporting cast member in my, in my own videos. <laughs> and if you know anything about her, you'll know that she has a, a, a pretty terrible diet. I don't know if you ever saw that show Freaky Eaters, but it's it's that kind of it's that kind of level. And she gets a lot of stick for it in the comments week after week. In fact, even now I can sense the keyboard pugilists stretching their fingers with excitement at the prospect of, of leaving a comment down there. But let me just save you the trouble. We've been together eight years, so if you think a comment saying eat better, from a complete stranger, is gonna have a drink in kale smoothies tomorrow. Just, it's not, believe me, I've tried. Anyway, today I'm gonna take down, or try to take down Mrs. Beard's entire daily diet. Ridiculous daily diet, I might add, <laughs> in one sitting. And she doesn't eat like this every single day exactly the same, but this is pretty much run of the mill. And we might even get some commentary from the, the expert herself on the sidelines. So without further ado, this is Baby Suden. This is uh, how to give yourself an iron deficiency. <laughs> <laughs> Who's gonna? It's a smorgasbord of, of, of beige stuff. Apart from the strawberries, they had a nice, uh, a nice splash of colour. Yeah, and the hula hoops. The hula hoop <laughs> packaging it is colourful, yeah. <laughs> I, I reckon this it's over 3,000, I think. Looking at it, it's got to be. And Mrs. Beard, you can talk us through, <laughs> you know, what what comes at what point of the day, etc. I'm going to move the, the crumpets for now because I know they're not uh, they're not breakfast. We'll put the timer there. Right, so breakfast is... Toast. Toast, right? Yeah, okay. Yeah, and this is the first quirk of, uh, of Mrs. Beard's um, nutritional regimen. She doesn't use uh, butter like regular people. She uses stalk. Stalk is actually... It's for baking. Yeah. It's not for spreading. It's true. Ah, what's up, Ben? I mean, welcome back to another episode. And I'm not going to lie. It's a bit of a daft one today, but yeah, quite a lot of people requested this. So I hope you enjoy it. Of course, the traditional breakfast drink, full sugar Coca-Cola. I don't even know how you can drink Coca-Cola at this time in the morning. Would you have breakfast at like seven? Half past seven. It makes my teeth hurt at the best of times. I would usually down it. <sighs> down it? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you, you wouldn't think it's a look at her. She's a pretty diminutive little lady, but uh, she can she can chug pretty good. She could give um, Badlands a run for his money. Mm. Now, you've been the, the fussy type, Mrs. Bit. I would have thought that you don't like to eat the end piece. Oh, that is the best piece. Oh. I'm jealous. I understand the simple pleasure of a slice of toast with some butter on there, something like that, but stalk, you know, I'm pretty sure they left stalk, they, I, there was like a, a scientific experiment, right, where they, they put stalk outside and like nothing could grow on it, nobody even knows what it is, it's not even food, it's like a chemical or some kind of plastic derivative. I would love to know in the comments if anyone else uses stalk like this. It definitely isn't low carb bread, is it? It's not skinny bread, this is... This is tough stuff. Ugh. What is it, farmhouse? Yeah, nothing but the, the big, thick, crusty white stuff. Yeah, Lindsay won't eat anything apart from Warburton's, so. If anyone's watching this from Warburton's <laughs> brand ambassador. <laughs> Send me some bread. <laughs> could, could you just take this? Yeah, thank you. <laughs> so, mid-morning snack is the hula hoops. <laughs> yeah, when we set this up, Lindsay's like, you can't just eat one. They're not like Kit Kats, you know what I mean? Like, <laughs> you can't just have one bag. Yeah, I, I'm not sure I'm following the logic on that one. You, you don't get hula hoops in like twin packs, so I don't know why she has to eat two. 
You just do, so if you just put your finger in there to get some of the hula hoops <laughs> dust, that's just wrong. Checking She says that, but she was twirling her finger around inside looking for some leftover residue, believe me. This is a challenge I would be happy to help with. If it was anything like the Pringles challenge, I think I'll pass. You, you didn't really contribute much to that. <laughs> you can say that again. I, I don't know if you remember the, the 1,000 Pringles challenge, but Mrs. Bid, she didn't even eat one single tube. So I'm not about to get into a 1,000 hula hoops challenge with her. No way. Good work on them. Right. So next, I would probably have fish fingers. Those fish fingers are well too undercooked for me. I like them rock hard, black. <laughs> rock hard. Oh, is it, is it a new bottle? <laughs> oh, okay. So is this how it normally works? A big pool of ketchup and you yep, dip? And Oh, salt. You don't put extra salt on fish fingers. Salt. You can't be eating it in one. I have to say, I do love fish fingers. I do. It's miraculous, actually. After, what, five years of this channel being in existence, I've never once done a fish fingers challenge. I could help you as well, and the bottom of me for free. Fish fingers is about as nutritious as you get, right? Yeah, you've heard of uh, low carb diets. Mrs. Bid is on one of those low protein diets. This, this is it. Oh, the lovely fish fingers. Don't you, don't you dare lick the ketchup <laughs> off that. That's disgusting. I, I've seen her do it. Believe me. Okay. Taking grape, like pre-prepared gravy, and microwaving it at work is just that's a different level of psychotic. I got to be careful with the gravy though, because I don't have a, a knife and fork. Mm -hmm. I just want to eat a knife. Just lick this gravy. I, I'll be honest, I did think it would be quite tough for her to, to watch me eating all this food because she has pretty limited willpower, you know. She did resist licking the gravy, though. I have to give it to you. These are actually very nice Yorkshire puddings. Maybe we have to make a giant Yorkshire pudding. Do it for Yorkshire! Maybe. I hate to use this to, um, to wipe my face because this was a gift from a very kind subscriber. I've used it now. <laughs> right. Right, so that was that was lunch. The uh, the mid-afternoon snack you said was Haribo. But there's a twist. <laughs> because um although Mrs. Beard likes uh, Star Mix, pretty much she only likes three of the variants of sweet that you get inside this thing. So uh, do you wanna fish them out? Yeah. By the way, drinking this much Coca-Cola in a day is just not... That's like 500 calories right there. So, so these... <laughs> these are the only sweets out of that entire bag that you would eat. Mm -hmm. Do they not... They don't sell these separately? And then teddy bears separately. But I'm you... quite partial to a ring every now and then, but... <laughs> <laughs> Shh, my mum watches these videos. Come on. <laughs> I've never actually eaten gummies in a video, and I always wonder how I would do it. I think I would just swallow them like whole, like... I can just swallow a gummy whole. I imagine that wouldn't be very pleasant after, you know, doing it with, you know, three, four kilos of... <laughs> yeah, that's a, that's a hard no to any kind of pick and mix or, you know, gummy bears challenge. I think that might cause some kind of stomach issues. <laughs> right, 18 minutes. All right, so that's the that's the mid afternoon snack. Dinner time, I guess, is the garlic bread. This is a uh, garlic flatbread is your favorite, right? Yeah. Have you got something against baguettes? Garlic baguettes? No, you just get more flavor on them. Okay. Yeah, I do know that she prefers pizza style or flatbread style of garlic bread, but she's not that discerning. She will eat garlic baguettes, garlic dough balls, anything with garlic and bread, really. I have to say, I've, I've um, pretty much two two of the most common messages I get are, the first one is, what's your catchphrase? And the second is, why does Mrs. Beard only eat garlic bread? Those are probably the two most common common inquiries I get. That's like a thousand calories, so probably <laughs> two thirds of what you should be eating in a day, but. Strawberries are the, the after dinner snack, right? Yeah. I'm excited, something with nutrients in it. 
love, love, love strawberries. I should probably have taken the stem out. I'll definitely just date some stem there. Oh. Yeah, th this might surprise some people, but she absolutely loves strawberries. Pretty much the only fruit she does love, but she will commonly eat an entire bunch. I found a rhythm with the with the stems. It's not like Joey Chestnut. Gotta find a rhythm. Gotta find a rhythm. <laughs> Is bunch the right word? Bunch of strawberries? That doesn't sound right. All right. Well, that's one of you five a day. Just a big plate full of strawberry stems. Sorry. All right, next it's um, it's a pretty carb-heavy supper time meal for Mrs. Beard. <laughs> with um, with 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 a piece of Battenberg. I'm not sure if they have Battenberg in. Uh, you know, in North America and, and the, the rest of the world. You might have to explain that, but um, not only does it include crumpets, she's also a, a bit of a booze hound. She likes a, a strawberry daiquiri. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Oh. <laughs> just so you, uh, just so you feel fancy. <laughs> How long have we been going? Uh, just about 30 minutes. My goodness. Whoa, not too much. I just gotta give this stuff some flavour. It's all so bland. Yeah, I don't have nearly as much as that. I, I do love crumpets. Mm. In fact, I think this is the only thing that we share, which was on uh, this was on my daily diet uh, challenge video. Okay. Admittedly, it's my old daily diet, and I didn't, you know, mm. cremate them. <laughs> gotta have crumpets oh. soon. It tastes like burning. Mm. Oh. What make you like them? Too burnt? Uh, you... They're black? The edges are black? When things go black, that's that. I mean, like, you've gone past the point at which they're cooked. <laughs> yeah, the, the stalk is covering it quite well, but these things, they were, uh, they were crispier than Iron Man after he clicked the Infinity Gauntlet. <laughs> I don't know what you did to those crumpets. <laughs> I don't think I want to eat crumpets again after that. Yeah, I feel terrible now. That was a that was a mean joke. Strawberry daiquiri just tastes a little bit like um, you know when you get like a strawberry slush puppy and it melts, Ooh. so there's no ice left. Like that, but just with alcohol in there too. Mm -hmm. Right, so we end the day with um, Battenberg, right? Yeah. And you don't do the the whole. Bottle, right? Just two. Yeah, just two. Two plastic. <laughs> it's a relief. What? I don't eat all the bad burger. Right. Yeah. This is. Uh, so, uh, so Lindsay takes off the marzipan. I don't like marzipan. I just like the sponge. But I'm, I, I'm making a stand. <gasps> I'm eating. Oh, that's disgusting. Yeah. If you if you haven't figured it out by now, she's um. I don't know. She, she's just not all there. Anyway, <laughs> hope you enjoyed this one. I'll catch you next time. <laughs> Is that everything? I have everything. Well, it, it took 35 minutes. I think that's kind of testament to the fact that there was actually a lot of food there. <laughs> Hot what? You've got some stock on your nostrils. <laughs> Is it going? Yeah. What was I going to say? Yeah, I think this, this will be one of those um, Marmite videos, either you love it or hate it. A lot of the Mrs. Beard fans will probably find it quite um, insightful. Yeah. And a lot of the, um, you know, other people. Hate spawn and hate. Will just be surprised that you're still alive more than anything. I get it. You know, it's, um, it's not particularly nutritious, but... Um, it is delicious. Anyway, <laughs> just a bit of a daft video for you today. We'll catch you in the next one. Bye. I feel like I want to do something now. It's just like pure like car yeah, buzz. No, what I would normally do is go have a nap. <laughs> All right, I'm, I, I can do that.
can't believe you like. Why, why would you eat crumpets like that? <laughs>